Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Welcome to my inner thigh for beginner workout. Some benefits to this session are gonna be just a boost in overall confidence, toning, and also um, losing weight if you're after that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have time to watch this video right now, go ahead and save for later and just do it whenever you get a chance. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let's go ahead and lay on our back. And just um, a word of advice, as we transition from each thing to the next, just make sure that you're moving mindfully and um, just be kind to your body and really listen to your body. All right, guys, let's go ahead and bring our legs overhead. And I'd like you to lengthen through your inner thighs, press through those big toes. If your hamstrings feel a little stiff, your legs might be lower, that's fine. So wherever you're at, starting now, we're gonna do 50 seconds, go ahead and lower those legs down, pressing through the big toes, really squeeze those inner thighs on the way up. And not trying to rush your way through these, really taking your time and squeeze on the way up. Relax your shoulders, relax your neck and bringing your full attention to those adductor, those inner thigh muscles. Remember to breathe and squeezing on the way up. So just keep your feet engaged. And just a few more, you're doing great. And last one, you're doing great. And go ahead and lower those legs. And go ahead and just bring your hands on your abdomen. We're gonna take a few breaths. Relax your shoulders. Not taking too much time. Yeah, go ahead and bring those legs overhead one more time. So we're gonna do pulses, which are just one of the best things you can do for toning. So lengthen through those big toes, really lengthen through your inner thigh area. And starting now, we're gonna do another 50 seconds and we're gonna pulse at the top of this movement. So go ahead and pulse and up. And really squeeze those inner thighs as you pulse. Relax your shoulders. And just finding a steady rhythm. You're doing great. Pulse. You might notice that one side feels a little stronger. Almost there, guys, you're doing great. And pulse. Just a few more. You should be feeling the burn at this point. And one more. Great job. I'm going to just lower those legs. Take just a breath or two. And for this next exercise, I'd like you to bring the soles of your feet together. And I'd like you to bring your um, heels um, pretty far away from your pelvic floor. So you don't want to be feeling tightness in your groins. You want to be feeling space there. So just bring them out as much as you need to to feel somewhat relaxed in your groin area. And if you're someone that has tight hips in general, if your um, knees are up a bit, that's fine. So wherever you're at, go ahead and just bring the soles of the feet together and relax your head. And I'd like you to just feel where the edges of your feet, the outsides of your feet are making contact with the floor. And that's gonna be where your mind's gonna really focus here. So in this um, exercise, I'm just gonna show you. So you're just gonna press that area of the foot and you're going to bring the knees just towards each other, but there's no way they're gonna touch. That's not the goal. So it's a subtle movement. We're gonna do 50 seconds starting now. Go ahead and get ready. Pressing the outer edges of the feet. I'd like you to just lift your hips. Squeeze those inner thighs and slowly come down. So you're gonna feel this as much on the way down, if not more, 
as when you're going up. Nice and slow here. And just relax your shoulders, pressing your feet. Squeeze at the top and down. Really targeting the adductors here. Press, squeeze. Great job. So faster doesn't mean better results. Usually slow, mindful, committed movements make all the difference. Squeeze. And last one, squeezing at the top and down. And go ahead and you might wanna just help your knees up to um, take the pressure off of your hips. Let's take a few breaths. You can grab a drink of water if you need to. All right, guys, let's go ahead and roll to our side. So if you wanna just um, go ahead and support your head with your hand, and I'd like you to, your um, leg that's on top is gonna to be just for balance. So you can kind of find wherever you want. And you're gonna straighten that leg that's closest to the floor, that's on the floor. And you're actually gonna bring your heel, move your heel down and your toes up. So you're really pressing through your heel here. And we're gonna do this for 30 seconds on each side. So go ahead and just lift and squeeze. And lift, squeeze. This is one of the best exercises for toning the inner thigh that I found. And squeeze at the top. So what you give is what you get from these exercises, really doing your best, squeeze. And just a few more. Great job. Last one, I'd like you to hold it and squeeze as much as you can. Keep pressing through your heel. Another few seconds. And release. And opposite side. I'm gonna go ahead and move to the opposite side of my mat. And starting with this side, go ahead and support your, your head and just get set up so that front leg is for balance, wherever it feels most comfortable. And also this forward hand, the left hand is for balance. So really um, pressing through your heel, bringing the toes up. Same thing, 30 seconds starting now. Go ahead and lift, squeeze. And really being intentional if you're feeling distracted, just bring your mind into your body and squeezing at the top. Another 10 seconds or so, you're doing great. Squeeze. Squeeze, you should be feeling the burn at this point. Squeeze. And last one, guys, go ahead and Hold it at the top and really press through that heel. So if you held this for 30 seconds, your inner thigh would be on fire. So you should be feeling it. Another few seconds. Great job. And release. So we are going to end with bridge. So go ahead and get set up one more time. So you wanna bring the soles of the feet together and plenty of space in between your heels and your pelvic floor. And go ahead and just lay back. All right guys, so we're gonna do this one more time. This is our last exercise. Just make sure that your hips are feeling somewhat relaxed. So if you're feeling um, like you need more space, move the feet down. And let's get started. So go ahead and relax your shoulders. 50 seconds starting now. Pressing the outer edges of the feet Go ahead and lift, and I want you to hold here. Hold, squeeze your inner thighs. Slow on the way down. If you feel cramping in your hamstrings, don't go up quite as high. Squeeze, hold. If you wanna look good in that bikini, this is the exercise for you. It works, guys, I'm telling you. Squeeze. 
and last one. Go ahead and come on up and we're gonna hold this. <sighs> hold it. Again, if you're feeling cramping, you can just lower your hips a little. And then just another few breaths. Doing great. And release. You can just bring those knees up and that is it for today, guys. Great job. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out the rest of my videos, um, including the ones for the rest of this series on our app, Yoga Plus. Um, I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.